Hello everyone, today we are doing a beginner's video for tuner chips or whatever you call it, performance chipping, tuners, chips, whatever they call them. Basically they plug into your, whatever you call that port again, I should have read about that, but I know what the port is. Um, but basically it's your little diagnostic port or whatever port that tuned the car or whatever. And it actually, you put your chip in there and it will tune the car to basically run a certain way. Um, but we're gonna get into that, what it does. So let's talk about tuning chips. Wait, we are into that. What are tuning chips? Well, they basically, an ECU will tell the engine how much air, how much fuel will go in the engine for it to run the most fuel efficiently or efficiently in general to make the car run good. An ECU has a certain stopping point though. An ECU can only put so much fuel in and so much, it only can put so much fuel in and so much mixture until it cuts it before it does not do anymore. So basically trying to be more fuel economic. So you don't want that ECU to be like be sucking a load of fuel to do it. So that's what performance chips are for though. Performance chips, like, well, if you can see it, like this one right here, it's blinking. This is a performance chip, it's very small actually. Some of them have screens, some of them have little tuners for your phone. Some of them, you've seen people put, plug diagnostic ports to do the diagnostics on your car. It's the same thing, it's just this one to go hook into your ECU to do performance. So what do they do? Well, they actually open up your ECU to more wide range of fuel ratios. So you'll be able to put more fuel and be able to suck more air into the engine and it will be able to do it. So. There is a limit though. You're limited by your fuel injectors that are stock on the engine. But yeah, what's the difference from doing it tuned from a computer and laptop than doing this? A chip is a plug and play system where you literally just calibrate it, plug it in, and you got your car tuned. Um, the only difference is the tuning is usually more, how to say it, more wide range. You can do more with a laptop and tuning. But with the chip, if you just want a little touch it with your upgrades, then uh, you can do it. So here's what you get wrong though. The biggest thing is people say that tuning chips do not work. It depends on what you have, but usually they will work. What you have to do though, have an air intake and a cold air intake and a exhaust. Some it's kind of an exhaust work to relieve some pressure. You need something to be relieving some pressure. I have an older style performance chip, so it isn't the same as a stage three, stage one, or stage two chips. It's a little different. Mine will tune over time and basically bypass the ECU. If you have an older car, it's gonna be harder for it to tune it because it's an older car. Don't expect much from an older ECU. Um, standalone ECUs, you can usually tune for yourself and you do not need a tuning port, but some ECUs you cannot tune, like a 1996 Camry here, you cannot tune that, so. Let's talk about the biggest question I ask, and I don't think anybody else asks this question because it's kind of dumb, like who else would ask this question, is can you put parts in this? So if you can put an air intake and exhaust and get different air and fuel ratios, can't you put a turbo in it and run it like that? Well, the question is, the answer actually is, yes, you can, but there is a little differences between them. Um, having a tuning chip like mine, you can, have a turbo set up and actually let it boost higher because that tuning chip is a learning chip. They all do that, but this one, basically, it does not have a stage system. It's a little weird. It doesn't actually have stages of performance. It actually just tunes the car to the highest it can go or to the most efficient way to do it higher than what the interest or the, the factory has put out as. So it's not like what people say online. It actually can tune to the turbo. I could be wrong about that. So this is a little controversial video. So, but, um, yeah, that's how it is. Um, so would you, I recommend getting a standalone ECU cause you can actually tune them and you can bring them to tuners unless you know how to tune and you can tune the standalone ECU for turbos. A stock ECU on most older cars and most, mostly just older cars, you cannot tune them for what you want to do. Or you can get piggyback systems. I'll go into that in another video and I can go about more about standalone ECUs in another video. But basically you just need to care about your air and fuel ratios for tuning a car and timing. That's the only things that tuning chips can touch. Some of them only do air and fuel ratio and some of them do timing and air and fuel ratio. But basically a tuning chip is the way to go to get a small boost from all your parts. 
but make sure you get a one that is not a scam there's a lot of scam ones out there i recommend going online and looking at ones doing reviews of which ones you should get but do not say you hate them that they do not work but you have a stock air intake system and stock exhaust it does not work like that and you cannot throw them on your Camaro that has a stock air intake box, but it is a performance car. It does not work like that. You have to have an air intake of some kind because the ECU on the stock car is already pushing the car as far as it can go. So do not think that you can just do that. You have to do aftermarket upgrades with the tuner to actually make it work. Um, that's from my perspective. It's worked for me. It's been working really great. I have a lot more power now. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of this video. It's basically everything i can come up with right now about tuning chips if i missed anything or if i said anything wrong please tell me i'm not perfect i did not say everything correctly then you can text me on comments about this and tell me what i fixed and please if you do say anything that i did wrong please comment and tell me what i did wrong but thank you thank you for watching see you guys next one